Oh, that's good. I'm getting eaten by ants. We're always getting eaten by something doing these videos. <laughs> oh, I know. something wanting to gobble. <laughs> G'day everyone and welcome back to another episode. Just before we dive into this episode, we just wanted to remind you about our $1,000 giveaway. If you haven't heard, the Lifestyle Pioneers is about to turn one year old and to celebrate, we're giving away a $1,000 Black Duck Seat Covers gift card. Check out the, in the description below for the link to the Instagram post that you need to go to that has all the details on how you can enter. Thanks so much for supporting us and uh, watching our ads to help us raise money for charity and for our channel. So February's revenue, 10% of February's revenue is going towards Country Hope, which provide uh, care for sick kids in the country and their families. So yeah, that's thank right. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone. If you don't know already, we donate 10% of our YouTube revenue to charity and we pick a new one every month. This month is Country Hope. Country Hope. Thank you for supporting us and supporting those awesome charities. Let's dive into this week's episode. It's part two of Litchfield. This one's a cracker. We had an absolute blast. Can't wait to show you guys this one. Let's dive into it now. Enjoy. Morning. Morning. <laughs> uh, we're in the car again. We're checking out more of Litchfield today. We've got a few waterfalls to uh, explore. We'll show you those in a minute. Yeah, just had a nice really cruisy day yesterday. Simon got some work done. Yeah, I did a heap of work. I've had a few late nights actually, been up late editing and doing other work and stuff. So, feeling a little bit tired this morning. We certainly didn't get away early, but oh, anyway, it's, it's just the way it is. We're getting pretty used to that. So yeah, stick around. We're gonna have a good day. We've got plenty of food packed, plenty of snacks, mm. <laughs> plenty of water. As always. As always. And uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty excited. I think there's gonna be some cool stuff uh -huh. to see, so. Yeah, Litchfield is very impressive. And you, you just know even, you just know it's gonna be good. You know, it's worth it even if you're tired and exhausted. It's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Caught behind the nation blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east, looking for some digging deep since '99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go. Burn on. Ripping it. Yep. <laughs> Ripping into it. No. We're off. Where are we? Green Ant. Green Ant Falls. I'd love to try and pronounce the uh, indigenous name for it for you. We think it's Jataba or something like that. Jataba or Jataba. It's got a T at the start, but we think that's silent. I don't know. That's our best impressions of, of figuring out the indigenous language. What are we up for? I think it's about 2.7K return walk. Uh, apparently it can be quite steep. You can't swim below the falls, you can swim at the pools at the top. So we'll go for a swim up there and then you can just view the falls from the bottom. It's a culturally significant mm -hmm. area, so they ask you not to swim below the falls, which is pretty easy to follow. <laughs> I assume that's a grade three out of five. Uh, moderate and, what did it say? An hour and steep. a half. Hour and a half and steep, so probably two and a half for us. At least, plus a swim. So this will this will probably take us to lunchtime, basically. Yeah. I love all these all these walks we're doing. They're just all these awesome little creeks like this one that we're at now. The crossover, like the walks we did to walk up to Walker Creek obviously the other day. We had to cross the creek there a few times and just these beautiful cool little little springs. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool, doesn't it? I think this is really dark. So I have to pull it out of water. Oh, it's a crocodile water. I'm just annoyed that I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these Aboriginal name like places and you sort of feel bad either way. You feel bad if you don't use it because I feel like you should use the proper Indigenous name but then you don't want to be disrespectful and butcher the pronunciation of it either and yeah I hate that I don't know. Mm, that's that's what, how I'm feeling. But anyway. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to psych up for this walk, but uh, it's one of those things I think once you do it, you'll feel better. 
But just, yeah, I don't know, too many late nights and early starts. The kids have been waking up early, like, just before 7 every morning. Like, oh. yesterday was 6.30, and that's abhorrent to us. Like, and, um, but and anyway. 6. Yeah. One morning it started with a five. Start, they're just stirring really early. I don't know what it is because it's dark. It's still, it's not the light that's waking them up because it's still quite dark. We left the kids behind. Um, yeah, it's still quite dark, so I don't know why these rag, rat bags are waking up. Why are you waking up so early? So damn early, but when we've been going to bed pretty late, it's yeah, it starts to take its toll after a few nights. And I keep saying we'll have an early night. And then <laughs> so I'm I didn't. to bed at eleven, and he goes, I just need to unwind for a bit. Next thing you know, it's 12.30 and the kids... Well, the trouble is a lot of the work I do, is I, I'm dealing with people, a lot of the people I sp have to speak to and stuff are overseas. So I'm dealing with time zones all the time and a lot of them are in the UK. So in a way it's good because evenings is a great time for me to work and, and be in contact with people in the UK and stuff. But then when things run late or run over, like last night I was on a webinar that ran over. I didn't get off the webinar until after 11 o'clock. So yeah, anyway. It's the sacrifice we make to be able to live on the road. <laughs> and it's one I'll continue to make because it's not a bad sacrifice if you ask me. It's pretty damn good. But um, yeah, anyway, I need to catch up on some sleep. That's the main thing. And then obviously I've got to edit these awesome videos for you guys in between and for us. We enjoy doing that. That's the fun bit. This is a nice walk. How good is this? This is, this is so beautiful. And just like through here, this little waterfall trickling through. It's nice and shady this walk, which is awesome for the redhead in me. Pretty lucky. This is such a beautiful country. Kids are just loving all the signage and learning about where we are and what's in the area, especially the, the animals and some of the plants and stuff as well. They just, yeah, you can see they're so engaged and learning about their surroundings and stuff. I just love that. I think, yeah, that's even though they're quite young, I think that's valuable learnings that they're going to carry with them for the rest of their life. It's, it's pretty awesome, and they'll just have such an understanding and an appreciation for exactly what Liz is talking about, the vastness and the diversity of this country. All right, <laughs> see you guys in a bit. <laughs> this could take a little while. One of the cool things I read the other day about these paper bucks is that they're fire resistant. And I've just found this one here, which has obviously been burnt on the outside. So I'm just gonna show you how cool this is. And for anyone who hasn't seen a paper bark before, their bark is like this thin, stuff that you can just peel off and it looks like sheets of paper basically but you can see this has been really well burnt but if you just peel it back just a little bit it's only the outside layer that's burnt and then under the underside is fire resistant pretty cool and it's how these trees obviously grow to be so large is that they're protected from bushfires that we get out here in the land down under Apparently you can eat the green ants. So apparently if you pick one up and bite just the end of the green ant, like the green section of the green ant, the abdomen section, apparently it tastes like little candy lollies. I'm not sure I'm gonna give that a crack, but up to you. You do what you want with that information. <laughs> so this is the tabletop track, walking track. It's a 39k circuit that then circles around and so that's Florence Falls, there's a campsite there, Walker Creek where we were the other day um, and then there's other camp walk-in campsites around. It goes, you can walk in, a, there's a track to walk into Wanji Falls as well and another one that links up to here to come into to Green Ant Creek and, and to Tabor Falls so yeah maybe one day. It's a 39k circuit, but by the time you do all the side tracks and everything, you'd probably be doing 50 or 60k, or at least 60k. No, we're going this way, boys. It just got really steep. 
So it's been a really, really nice walk cruising through this canopy of this little rainforest. And now we've hit the steps. an eclectic mix of plants here. Pandanus palms with eucalypts, with grevilleas, with, I don't know, these like wild figs and, you know, all this buffalo grass and just a heap of other species. It just, it just looks, it looks random. Like, <laughs> it doesn't look like it all belongs together. I don't know, I've just never seen this kind of foliage together. It's quite a bizarre to look at. That was a pretty good little swim. Nice, nice little pool. Gets gets a bit crowded. It's not the biggest swimming hole. Definitely worth a good little. Oh, it's not a bad walk in here either. It ended up. We we're expecting it to be a bit steeper and a bit, yeah, you know, a bit more difficult from what we'd read. But it was a pretty easy walk. There's only a few little short steep sections, and there is, yeah, you know, pretty well formed steps and that to get up. So certainly wasn't too bad at all. Nice, nice little walk for the morning. Good swim. Water wasn't too cold either, which is nice. Yeah, beautiful. Definitely yeah. worth it. I was just saying to Simon, I'm not sure that hiking up mountains to take kids for a swim in a waterfall is everyone's cup of tea, but it's certainly ours. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's a lot of effort though. It is a lot of effort. A lot of effort, but it's worth it. You look, we look at all these sort of younger single people or people with no kids and yeah, geez, it's, I think, geez, they're missing out. Geez, they're missing out. <laughs> Life looks so hard for them, you know. It's just such a struggle. All they got to worry about is themselves, <laughs> themselves and, and they and just hike up, have a quick swim, hike back, jump in their car, off they go to the next one. Some of them have backpacks filled with beer. We're struggling to do two things a day, and some people are knocking out six or seven. Yeah. Had, I like it though. I, I like that we just sort of we don't let the kids stop us from doing what we want to do. We just think about how we're going to do it with them. Yeah, it's always and that's yeah always been a sort of our I guess. What we parenting mantra. Parenting mantra is <laughs> just do it. If we want to do it, we'll work out how we can do it. Nearly everything is possible if you just, uh, yeah, have a bit of a think about it and come up with a good plan. And and if you want it bad enough. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We made it. Woohoo! There's the car just there. Yep, pancake time. Who's happy about that? Me. High five. Good job, buddy. Best walkers. Yep. Getting stronger? Yeah. Middle of the day, time to reapply sunscreen. Yeah. Especially on the kitties and the ginger. Yeah, there's a 7 a.m. round and then there's a 12 a.m. round. 12 p.m. 12 12 by 1 p.m. round. <laughs> a noon. A noon. Sunscreen. Noon round. Sunscreen, sunscreen before breakfast. Up so here. we just uh, we just pulled up at Tolma Falls. We're going to go do a walk around here. There's no swimming at Tolma Falls. It's a relatively short walk. I think it's about one and a half k. Yeah, there's no swimming allowed. So we'll, we'll go for a walk at this one. I'm just telling everyone at home. We'll go for a walk at this one. Have a look at the waterfall, take some beautiful photos. Can we swim? Not at this one, and then we'll go for a swim at another one. So this looks like a pretty easy walk here at Tolma. Uh, there's a couple of different options. The, the main walk that just goes to the viewing platform and back is 800 metres return, and it's pram and wheelchair friendly, so 
that's she's a concrete path yeah. pretty easy there's a couple of lookouts along the way then if you're feeling a bit more energetic there's a 1.5k loop walk you can do as well that loops back to the car park so 800 meters return or about 1500 meters return So we have returned to Cascades. If you remember when we were here the other day, it was absolutely packed with people. It was pretty hot. We'd already done a big walk up to Walker Creek that day, and we just weren't really committed, for, <laughs> ready for another three and a half K walk. We've come back this morning. It's Monday now, so the long weekend's over, and there's, it's nine o'clock in the morning, and there's one other car here. So I think it uh, was the right decision. We sort of, we were just saying, we sort of um, chopped and changed a bit. Uh, moving through Litchfield like we've sort of been zigzagging all over the place and haven't necessarily done things in a, a logical order but it's made sense as far as the walks go and the time of day and everything and just what's going to be busy and what's not with the long weekend so yeah I think I think it's one of the advantages to Litchfield being quite compact everything's relatively close together so it means you can sort of do that you don't have to yeah necessarily do it when you're there you can plan your route a bit and come back so, well Pretty easy walk so far, we'll see, eh? There's a couple of different walks you can do here, and it depends on the season, what's open. You can do uh, just the bottom, the lower cascades, and then there's what they call the upper cascades, which is where we're gonna walk to. We've heard that's the better swimming spot, but then from there, we don't walk back the same way. We can actually go down the river to the lower cascades, apparently. So, a little bit confusing, but I think we've got it, we think we've got it worked out. Pretty cool walking through here. It's a little rainforest. It's 
heaps of palms and different sort of ferns and stuff. It's just, it's, what is it, James? It's like a jungle. It's a, like a jungle, isn't it? That is a decent hike. Oh, horse fly. These bastards, these flying little biting flies. Oh, wow. That was a decent hike. I think we finally made it at least to the top end of the Cascades. It looks absolutely unreal. It's just little Cascades, obviously it's the Cascades. The little pools and lots of little waterfalls and everything, it just looks bloody spectacular. How good is that? That's worth the walk. This is gonna be sick. All right, time to get this kid off and get in the water. It's bloody hot. We'll play up here for a bit and then we'll start exploring down river. And um, yeah, just head all the way back, hopefully to the car park. That way is the plan. I don't think there's an official walk for the first bit of it. There's some water, a bigger waterfall down there that we're probably gonna have to try and find a way down, but I love this sort of stuff. Going for an explore, a bit of an adventure. And this is just perfect for kids up here. Like nice shallow pools, plenty of paddling areas they can play around. It's like having their own water park, you know? James has been into us the last few days, wanting to go back to the water park that we went to, the Lianya water park in uh, Darwin but I reckon this beats that hands down this is it this is awesome this is so good. beautiful fresh water it's cool but it's it's refreshing I'm about to jump in that big pool and go for a swim I think because uh, that walk I worked up a sweat on that walk <laughs> that was a pretty tough walk that's one of the toughest walks we've done in Litchfield well worth it but just be prepared for a bit of rock scrambling a few steep sections up and down I say it's 1.7k, but it, it felt felt like a bit more. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the grand. As we lose a line, we lose track of time. Let up high, now we climb. Oh. oh. I don't know if we're going to leave. <laughs> if this video never makes it out, we're still here. Bring food. <laughs> uh, yeah, bring, bring some food and beers. Are you getting in or what? I'm working up to it. <laughs> it's worth it. We just, whoa, nearly dropped the sunnies. We just walked down a couple hundred meters from where we just were. Another beautiful spot, it's just awesome. The water just cascades down this area for hundreds and hundreds of meters. And just behind me here, we got our own infinity pool. Again, got it all to ourselves, how good is this? I'm frothing on this, this is unreal. Probably one of the best places we've been to uh, on the trip, honestly. It's just perfect for us is enough water for us to go for a swim the kids can have a paddle they're having a ball playing in the little waterfalls building up rock piles and floating flowers down and whatever they want to do and yeah it's just magic i mean and to have it all to ourselves is just makes it even better just puts the icing on the cake how good is this this is so good litchfield national park for the win this is amazing i just i can't imagine how life gets better look at that infinity pool Harrison just said, Mum, can we have our house up here? <laughs> I was like, 
Mm. Yes, we can. <laughs> he said, Dad, imagine having this in our backyard. Oh, mate, I'm hearing you. <laughs> Don't worry about that. All right, I'm going for another swim. 200 metres of walking, I'm ready for another swim. So we've just left the lower cascades now and we're just walking back downstream, heading back towards the car park. So I think it's about a 1.2k, 1, 1 something like that from there. Not the easiest walk, you've got to walk. There's a bit of clambering over rocks and sticks and logs and I missed a spider, did I? James is on spider spotting. I'll tell you what though, it's, it's pretty busy up at the lower cascades, the official bit. There's plenty of swimming opportunities on the way up all the way down the way we're doing it yeah i don't know there's a lot of there's a lot of people down at the lower cascades but definitely worth pushing and going up to the upper whether you come up this way and climb up the way we've just come down or whether you do what we did this morning and and head up the main trail this is probably a nicer walk this way it's not easy but neither is the way we went all right looks like we just, we're out of the creek now punch out a little Little walk back to the car park, and uh, we might go and have ourselves a bit of lunch. I am starving. Oh, that was probably one of the best days, or the best mornings that we've had since we got to Litchfield. I now know what my highlights are. I think for for swimming spots, you really can't go past Walker Creek and the Cascades. They both take a little bit of effort to get to, and I think that turns a lot of people off, so you're, you're more likely to have it to yourself, or not to yourself, but at least quiet. And then Sandy Creek and uh, Surprise Creek, if you've got, if you've got a four-wheel drive, make those, put those two on your list. Poor old hat got a bit wet on that swim. It's, oh, it's got a bit. It's got a bit flopsy. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Worth it. We just came back to just up the road from where we were at Cascades is Wanji Falls, which we were at the other day. But it's probably one of the nicest little picnic areas that there is around Litchfield. It's a nice big flat grassy area, plenty of shade. So we just uh, come back here to kick back for a bit of a picnic lunch. The plan originally was go to Florence this afternoon, but we're all feeling pretty knackered. Pretty tired, so I think, I think we might give it a miss. We were there the other day, we didn't film because it was just a zoo. There was so, so many, people many people there. It's such a popular spot. Felt a bit awkward filming with so many people around. We don't like to film too much where there's other people. Oh. Florence Falls are just one you'll have to come and see for yourself. Worth it though. It's worth it. It's a pretty easily accessible and um, and a good swim. Pretty, pretty fresh though, the water was pretty cold. So I think we might just wrap up our little picnic lunch here and Call head back to the literally. van park. And that pretty well wraps up. I was going to say, I think that will wrap up Litchfield. That wraps up our Litchfield trip. So we're yeah. going to head off tomorrow and start heading back south. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, this episode and, and everything we've shown you at Litchfield. If you ever get the opportunity to come here, take it. It's been an absolute standout yeah. highlight for us, for our trip. Yeah, I've loved Litchfield. What's your favourite? Surprise Creek. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise Creek was really good. Surprise Creek would be my number one. Like we said, Sandy Creek was really good as well. And then we really enjoyed 
Cascades and uh, Walker oh, Creek. You may you may go there and think it's not much, but um, yeah, I don't know. Just just being able to find a little rock pool to yourself and chill out, and our kids love playing in that sort of shallow water and, and mucking around in little yeah. waterfalls and stuff. So take a good book if you do go. Yeah, and, pack, and some and, lunch. And some lunch. Oh, I'm getting yeah. bitten. Oh, I'm getting bitten. Ah. Yeah, lunch and some beers even. Yeah, you could pro- even if you don't drink them, you could probably sell them to the campers there for a Yeah, moment. that's right. <laughs> So if you are thinking of coming to visit, I'd I'd say two to three days at least, if you can. Minimum. Absolute minimum. If you want to, you won't get to see everything in that time, but you'll get a good feel for it. But if you can go, stretch it out four or five days or even a bit more with a couple of rest days in there as well. Mm. You could easily spend a week here and not get bored and and some. And we've been really happy with the Litchfield Tourist Park, the caravan park we're staying at. Is that what it's called? Litchfield Tourist and Van Park, I think it is. Yep. So anyway, that wraps up out this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Like we said, give us, uh, you know, do all the things. Do all the things you know you want you to do. You know you want to. Give if you us, haven't already. Give us a like It'll and a subscribe. It'll make you feel good. You'll, you, you'll hit that button and go, oh, I've just made Liz and Simon's day. If you're not familiar with subscribing, it's, um, it's free for you. It, uh, it helps us out a lot with growing the channel. And uh, it means that you'll get notified when we uh, release a new video so you don't miss anything that we put out. Which you wouldn't want to do, obviously. You don't want to miss this. Oh, you wouldn't want to miss this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll look, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya. Oh, it's 60 series. James, that's not your family, buddy. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Did you try and join a new family? Mm. You're trying to escape again. <sighs> All right, I can do this. I'm my number one priority, she reckons. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're all kidding, aren't you? Dad, I think I need those back. All right, I'm going to talk to the camera. Can I talk to the camera for a bit? I see something. What can you see? I'm twice.